Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Fury Launchpad come security training. In our last session, we talked about creating a configuration for our My Inbox Fury app in SAP S4 HANA system. We talked about what is the importance and essence of My Inbox Fury app in general. How can you use SAP workflow to set up your first workflow? Create the necessary basic workflow configuration and motivation for Mindbox Fury app. Then we talked about the role required to get access to the application, which is also getting activated when, whenever you are running a task list. And also we discussed the task processing O data service, which is a bare minimum requirement to be able to run your My Inbox Fury app. Towards the end, we saw that when we create a configuration in the system, our My Inbox Fury app actually um, actually was uh, working fine. And then I deactivated the service. Then I have removed the service and then I've, I've saw the error. Then I've reactivated the service. And even after reactivating the task processing service, there was an error. What is this problem? So I will switch over back. I will put here the service and you see the error called task facade is not implemented. So why this happens is because if you notice the service namespace is IWPGW. This is the service namespace. OK, now what actually is happening is though we have registered our service, which is the task processing service. Let me show you. This service is pointing to a system alias local. If I go to the system alias local, you will observe how the local is constructed. It is pointing to a local RFC. That is absolutely fine. But what's so wrong? So let me go to the SPRO and show you the system alias, how it is maintained in SAP server. So we go to SAP MG reference, SAP NetWeaver, SAP NetWeaver gateway or data channel configuration. We go to the settings sap gateway to sap system we will go to manage system alias activity in this manage system alias if you notice the local it is pointing to a default software version see default software version now because of this there is a problem why because a default software version use the current user to run all the uh, all the executions however as you remember in the last class in SAP server, there is a user WFFERT user, which is what responsible for running system specific tasks. So that user will not have access to the default software version and again its activity. So in order to make our workflow related activities work and the task processing work with the WF, uh, WFFERT user, workflow runtime user, we have to register a different system alias probably you can use none no problem but especially the software version should be specific to business workflow okay and as per the namespace so if you switch over back to the browser for the error you see the namespace is iwpgw this is the namespace so i have to copy this and now i have to create a, another alias related to workflow so i click on create let me call it as local wf because I'm using embedded system. If I would use uh, a central hub scenario, then I will give a RFC destination name here. But since I'm using uh, embedded, I will give none. But look at the software version. This has to go for a change. This is the problem. This is the reason why your workflow will give you this error. Very important step. This has to be the alias I should use always for registration. I say, OK. OK. There was a small checkbox problem. I just uncheck. Done. So now you see I have local uh, WF which has been registered. You can see. Yes. Then I will also just go and change, make it also for local app. No problem. I save it. We are done. You can do a check here, check connection. This is okay. Good. Yeah. And now if I go back to our service, I will remove this local. I will add system alias, say OK, new entry, 
our service identifier is task processing so star task processing star here it is and I will choose user role I don't need to do give that I have to directly give my system alias name and we just created local WF workflow we do default metadata default also enter save this it goes into a transport request very important so that in quality also the service get registered in the same way click OK we are done let's go back you will see now an entry will come over here here is the entry yes now I switch over back to the browser I will refresh and now voila you can see service works if service works behind the scene app will naturally work because fury apps are built on O data services basic troubleshooting fury only and only talk to O data if I switch over back I will go back to my home page of the launch pad refresh the launch pad few moments ago we saw there was an error and voila you can see there are 12 items in my inbox I can go in I can read this please approve my read request I can approve I can give a note and submit and leave request code for approval